Yes, my sports to the bone family. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. I know most of you guys have been waiting on this one. Yes. So shortly after I uploaded the first video this morning, news came out that Obed McCoy is out of the T20 series as a result of injury. Right? And Raston Chase is the man to replace him. And that has actually sent tongues wagging because, you know, people are convinced that Rastan Chase has a fairy godfather or something like that in the selection um, panel or on the selection panel. So I'm going to go through the, the, the information that was put out by Desmond Haynes and um, also going to remind you of the entire squad that will be going up against um, South Africa in the T20 series. So just make sure that you listen until the end so you can hear everything that they have to say as it relates to why Raston Chase is now in the T20 squad. And please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed. All right, so before I go down into the information here on the West Indies website, just be reminded that Rastan Chase, you know, is already in South Africa and he's already a part of the ODI team, ODI squad. So it could be a case of CWR trying to um trying to 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 see if they can save money as it relates to not having to bring someone else from the Caribbean to go into the T20 squad. But then again, some might say why couldn't why couldn't they have pulled somebody else from the ODI squad to the T20 square squad why is it that Chase had to be the one when we are not even sure why how he got into the ODI squad in the first place so let me go through it and and, and see what they are saying so on the CWI website it says Chase to replace McCoy in West Indies T20 international squad versus South Africa so it says the West Indies senior men's selection panel today named Rastan Chase as the replacement for Obed McCoy in the 15 member T20 squad um, that will be taking on South Africa in that international series starting on the 25th of March. They say McCoy was named in the original squad subject to medical clearance but has been ruled out of the upcoming series due to a knee injury so he was apparently named in the squad wasn't fully fit so they were thinking that all right he's going to be there if he's able to to pass his fitness test and we're not talking about the fitness test that hit my and lewis and these guys have to deal with we're talking about you know him being um not being be, being being injured right so this is what the lead, elect, um, the, lead, the lead selector had to say, Mr. Desmond Haynes. And I quote, Rastan gets an opportunity in the upcoming series as we see him being a versatile player who can, who can be called up on at any stage of the game. We want to wish Obed the best with his rehabilitation program and hope to see him back in the West Indies colors soon. So that is what Desmond Haynes had to say as it relates to um, Rastan Chase filling in for Obed McCoy. Let me give you the rest of the information on the, platform, on, the, on, the, on the website here. Just to remind you about the series. So it says the three match T20 International Series bows off on the 25th of March at the Super Sports Park in Centurion. They say the second match will be in the same venue. Um, the following day, while the third match will be played at the Wonders um, Stadium in Johannesburg on Tuesday, the 28th of Jan of March. Right? So you say the T20 International Series is preceded by a three match one day international series. Um, yeah, ODI series. They said the first two matches will be, um, as we know, on the 16th, which is Thursday. And on the 18th, which is the Saturday of March, um, with the final contest to be played on Tuesday the 21st. So just a quick reminder of that um, T20 squad. So we have Ravman Powell, the new captain. Kyle Mayers, the vice captain. 
uh, Shamar Brooks is there, Yannick Correa, Johnson Charles, Raston Chase, Sheldon Cottrell, Jason Hola, Akil Hussein, Alzari Joseph, Brandon King, Nicholas Puran. They also have Raymond Rifa, Romario Shepard, and Odin Smith. So those are the guys, my viewers and subscribers, that are set, um, that are set to, 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 to take on South Africa in that T20 series. So very, very interesting, my peeps, that Rastan is the one that gets the nod. Um, as I said, quite a few people are still baffled as it relates to how he got into the T into the ODI squad in the first place. Um, if you look in the in the ODI squad, uh, probably we can understand why they why they selected him. I mean, they probably should be looking for another another um, specialist um, seam bowler, seeing that Obed Makai plays that role. Um, if you look at the ODI at the T20 squad. Um, let me just if, if you look back at that T20 squad then you would you would you would um let me see that T20 squad right there uh we yeah man so we already have we already have um we already have spinners in that T20 squad so I'm not too sure how is it that or why is it that we we, we brought in another um spinner let me let me just um double check yeah Korea is there and um, we already have Akil Hussein you understand you know so Yannick Korea is there Akil Hussein is there Nicholas Puran is no longer the captain we know he fancies himself as a spinner well probably only in the ODIs not T20s so um, Korea is already there and um, Akil Hussein is there so you know it's, it's probably going to be difficult for people to understand exactly why um, our whole rest and chase got in to this um, squad but you know um, I, I am not here to speculate anything or to say there is any favoritism I am just saying I'm not seeing the pattern of how the, the selection is being done I, I I was unable to see the pattern how they selected the ODI squad and um, well just just maybe one or two players how I, I wasn't sure how, how Alec Artanis did not make the, the, the squad as a specialist batsman and Chase got in um, and same thing with this uh, selection here now but one thing is one thing I am certain of a lot of you guys in the comment section will have answers and will have questions so I'm gonna leave this one right here for now and the comment section will be open you can go ahead in the comment section and let me know what you all think about this Rust and Chase situation. The next time we go live, we are definitely going to be um, taking a look at this. Hopefully we can go live again before the first ODI game so we can um, take a final look at the, uh, the T20 and the ODI squads. So we're going to leave it right here for now, my peeps. Big up on yourself.